there, it's Pam Kinneberg with another Friday tutorial for facepaint.com. Today we're going to paint a spider cat. Um, I'm going to start with the crazed dome cake called Hawaiian Sunrise and the crazed half moon sponge. I've loaded my cake with most of the, the pink and the um, orange, just a little bit of that purple because I like the pink and the orange the best for Halloween. And we're just going to turn that sponge um, in a circular motion. You see it meets up to about halfway through the eyebrow. I'm not going all the way over to the end of the eyebrows. So just tap in there and try to blend as you go. We can clean the edges up later, so don't worry about getting a super perfect edge on that. Now I'm going to go in and um, just kind of curve my sponge when I do the eyelids and just going to tap that color over both of the eyelids. Flip the sponge around to the other side so that the darker colors go on the outer edge and the lighter colors stay in the middle. Now I'm just going in with a baby wipe and um, cleaning up my edges and tapping out with the other side of the sponge to blend out that color to more of a transparent color on the inside. Cleaning off the edges there and just making sure that's... Now I'm going to take the Craze Black and a number one round brush and I'm going to paint my cat face in there. Put a little dot right in the center where the bottom of your V is going to go so that you be sure to get that centered. And I just connect it like I'm connecting the eyebrows together with that little V shaped. Then I want to follow the curve of my outside semicircle with my first line and I'm just going to bring it up to a point and I'll do the exact thing on the other side. Next I'm going to put in where my ears go and then draw a little, again, little semicircle or little curved line to attach them. That's my center point. I want to make sure my eyes um, don't go quite to the center so I'm bringing them out a little bit more to the edge of the black line I have as the outer portion of the head. And I just extend that top line of the eyes out just to create um, just a nice little um, break in the rigid lines. And then just go ahead, after you've drawn your little nose area in there, go ahead and fill that in with the black. If you need to switch to a larger brush to do this, just to fill it up quicker, you can do that also. But it is not a very big space in here to have to fill up. So it goes pretty fast. And there you have your black cat face and I'm also going to put in the little eyes by pushing down a little bit in the center so it gets kind of that diamond effect. And next I'll take, while the black is still wet, take Mama Clown black shimmer and spray it over the cat to make him nice and glimmery. This black shimmer glitter is like really um, awesome. It picks up um, all kinds of colors. Now I'm taking the Pets Stencil by Graffiti Eyes and I'm going to, um, with my finger dauber, make some little paw prints right underneath the outer areas of the eye, kind of like on the cheekbone. And just kind of pay attention where you start with and putting my stencil at an angle, kind of following that flow as it goes um, towards the center of the face rather than pointing straight down. And my finger dauber just just pat that in there and you get perfect little paw prints. I made a big one and a small one just to cascade the sizes from large to small. And then I'm going to draw some spider webs and you want to aim for that corner of the cat face rather than going up um, because I want them to be curved like that. So again, doing, repeating the same thing, curving right around that eyebrow area um, to get that flow towards the center focal point. Connect them up 
with your little spider web lines. And these serve as whiskers and a spider web. So kind of a dual purpose for these. Then I'm just gonna draw a straight line down to these paw prints as if they were the spiders hanging off of this spider web. Next, I'm going to just use that same cake and um, grab some orange. You don't have to do this part. You can leave the nose as it is. Uh, but I'm also going to use this to paint in um, the ear area where it's set, just to kind of separate it a little bit to make it look more like an ear. Just kind of a sideways V there. And if you think about it, you can remember to do that when you're painting in your black. Now I'm putting little spider eyes on these paw prints just to give them that cute little spider feel. And finishing off with just some black dots on the top of this half moon up here just to kind of finish, make, make it look more finished. And there you go, a cat, a spider cat. <laughs> Very shimmery. Happy painting everyone and happy Halloween.